And here is the second treasure chest from the elephants, and the final one that we're ever going to need in the game. It may contain a unicorn horn the first time, but there is the Aegis Shield, the best shield in the whole game. It doesn't give us any more defense power, but it does deflect every single projectile in the game. At the point that we get it though, there are only three projectiles that it can deflect, and one of them is the projectile from the elephant enemy. The other two are from this boss that is right up here, from Julius. We're going to save right now, because we are at the very end of the game. We are as prepared as we'll ever be for taking on Julius. We have Excalibur, we have a full set of the best armor in the game, we have 321 maximum health, 53 MP at the moment out of a maximum of 55, and an inventory that is full of elixirs, unicorn horns, of which we have one, and four keys. Really should have tried to get rid of those keys, but we may be able to use them at some point. We actually can't use them at any point at all ever now. We're as ready as we will ever be for the final boss of the game. And so, we'll step forward and try to save the world by saving the Tree of Mana from Julius. And there is Julius, and Sky. Sky! You're late, Jim. My name is Jim, and I'm here to stop you. <laughs> really, you think you can stop me? I have the power of the Tree of Mana. It doesn't matter what you have. I have Excalibur. Excalibur? Hmm. No matter. No petty bauble can stop me. Excalibur may have stopped Van Dole once before, but I am far more than Van Dole. I already got the greatest power of mana. The time has come for the Empire Neo Van Dole. <coughs> Why are you laughing? That's a terrible name. It is not a terrible name! I spent years coming up with that name. It is perfect. Suitable for my new empire that will rule the world with an iron fist of tyranny. It's a dumb name. Oh, you're going to suffer for that. You will die slowly and painfully, Jime. My name is Jim. And it doesn't matter what power you have. I have the conviction and the will to defeat you, and with Excalibur, I will save the Tree of Mana, and save the world! You're sounding a lot more heroic than you used to. That is because I have the will to defeat you, and I know I can do it. I preferred it when you were more naive and foolish. I am not that anymore. I am not the same person that you met before. And I am not the same person either, Jime. It doesn't matter what you call me. Even if you call me Jime, it doesn't change who I am. And who are you? I'm the one that's going to stop you. We shall see. Now that I have the mighty power, I don't need you anymore, Jime. Why did you need me anyway? You know? That's the first sensible thing you've said in all the times I've met you time to die. And here is the first boss, which is Julius, three times, just firing fireballs at us. This is not a difficult boss. They take two or three hits of Excalibur each, they do deal a little bit of damage with the fireballs and running into you, but really it's not that difficult. We'll take care of two of them, heal up to full, and then take care of the third one. And that should be it after all, Julius is dead. Defeated Julius. See the true power of mana now! Second phase of the boss. Julius takes on this form, deals a lot of damage when he runs into you, and fires lightning projectiles. He moves across the top of the screen, and kicks across the bottom of the screen. Sometimes, he'll kick at a diagonal. He's a very difficult fight if you don't know what you're uh, expecting, and he hits really hard, and the fact that sometimes he'll kick in a diagonal will throw you off guard. The uh, Aegis Shield will deflect those lightning bolts, but being hit by Julius is a bad idea, and you really don't want to get hit. You always want to keep your distance as well, because sometimes he'll kick at a diagonal, and that really won't work, and occasionally he'll kick twice, just like he did then, which will get you hurt. 
we have absolutely loads of resources and don't do what I did just then and use your ability there when he's heading in the direction that you'll eventually uh, appear at because you will get hurt. You can take all the time you like, there is no time limit to saving the world at this point or at any point in this game and he kicked twice. Sometimes he'll do that just to throw you off guard, and that was the uh, lightning attack there dealing a fair bit of damage, dealt about 50 or 60 damage, but we have plenty of healing, plenty of elixirs, and plenty of X ethers. And it's a good thing I didn't have the uh, will to fling myself across the screen there, as that would have hurt. And that hurt just there. This is quite a ferocious form, and uh, it looked very impressive when I first saw it. I thought, this is a boss fight. This is a final fight. It has the uh, awesome music as well, and I was pretty convinced that this would be the final battle with Julius. And after this, Julius would be defeated and dead. And if that's true, we'll find out once we defeat Julius. Because it's only a matter of time, Julius. I have so many X ethers that I can restore my MP a lot. So many times that I can't even think of a suitable amount, and we have won. <sighs> I think I've just made him angry. Oh, you don't know the half of it. Jime. Oh, you're all right. Uh, how can you tell? You called me Jime. Are you okay, Sky? I... My memory's coming back to me. I remember you telling me to wait in the other room while you fought Dark Lord, and that Julius found me, and this is all your fault! All of it's your fault! If you'd have let me stay with you while you were fighting Dark Lord, Julius wouldn't have taken me here! He wouldn't be draining the Tree of Mana! It's okay! It's okay, I've defeated Julius! You... you defeated Julius? Yes, I have Excalibur! The legendary sword! I defeated him! He's dead! Are you... sure about that? Of course I'm sure about that! I defeated Julius! It's all over! You just said it. I just said what? That it's all over. And what's wrong with that? No! It is not! That's what's wrong with it, Jime. Jime! You will never leave here alive! If it's the last thing you ever say, Julius, you will say my name correctly! DIE! Final boss time! The third phase of this fight is upon us. It's a pretty easy phase in many respects. All he does is appear places and fire fireballs at you. Unfortunately, how small the arena is means that you will quite often get hit by collision which deals a lot of damage to you. The fireballs you can deflect with the Aegis Shield. And we do have Sky here, which means that she can tend our wounds and we can restore our health slowly. Unfortunately, that's not fast enough for us to resist getting a hit by Julius, as Julius hits really hard. But we have Excalibur, and Julius really doesn't have that much to uh, use against us. Junius is going to occasionally appear, Junius is going to fire fireballs, and that's pretty much it. And we could just uh, fly around the screen, use any of our uh, healing items if we need to, but we don't need to, because we're currently at just about full health. And the uh, placement of Junius has been quite fortunate. Sometimes Junius will just land on you all the time, and you will just get hit an awful lot. And that is what will kill you in this fight. Not the fireballs, but Julius just appearing on you when you're in a corner, and you dying that way. We'll just uh, attack twice there. Excalibur is the weapon you want to use here. I don't even know if any other weapons will even work. And you know what? I highly hope that these fireballs aren't doing anything really uh, bad, like damaging the Tree of Mana. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? But it seems like the Tree of Mana is okay. It's very tall, that's for sure. And we'll just uh, very quickly use this to get away from Julius while we heal a bit more. And we nearly ran into Julius there, but we're okay. This armor is really good. If you do this without this armor, you probably take a lot more damage. We might as well ask uh, Sky to heal our wounds here, because we're probably going to get hit again at some point. And 
There you are, Julius, and we completely missed hitting you. That's okay, though, because you're going to appear there, and you are gone! Jim! No. He said my name correctly, at least. The manor tree disappeared. Oh. What am I supposed to do? Sky, my dear. Mom? Oh, hello again. Now that the manor tree is lost, we need... What do you need? You're not going to like this sky. A new Gemma of the manor tree. That doesn't sound good. You'll see. New tree? Remember what I told you? We are the seeds of the manor tree. We will be a bud called Gemma, and we become a tree. And the Gemma Knights fight to guard it. That's me! Yes, that's you. I wish we could have a better Gemma Knight, but it's you. Hey, I defeated Julius! Yes, you did. I'll give you credit there. I became the Gemma last time we lost the tree. Last time you lost the tree? Yes, I... You were told that, right? No, nobody told us that the tree was lost. Oh. They really should have told you that. That tree? Was it you? Yes, Sky. But you are the last member of us manor family. To preserve the manor tree, we need you to stay here and become the Gemma. But, Sky, nobody else can decide for your life but you. I will, Mom. I will be the new Tree of Mana. But, but what about your life? But if I am the last one left, when I fall... Yes, that will be the end of the peace. Bye, Jime. Please go. I must stay here. Don't worry. I will be here as long as you guard me from the evil. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Jime, please guard my daughter. You are the only Gemma Knight for the tree now. What about Bogard? What about Bogard? I will be withering soon. Please tell my Gemma Knights that I said goodbye and thanks to them. I will. Goodbye. Sky. Jime. It's Jim. I know. Goodbye. Sky, good bye. Goodbye, Sky. And that is the end. Gemma, the guardian of the peaceful land. The new Gemma must not be lost ever after. We all must keep it forever. And 
you, Jive. It's Jim. Oh, fine. You, Jim, are the only Gamma Knight now. The end. Did you save the world? I did. But Sky, it had to be done. Why didn't you tell me? Well, we thought you'd find out anyway. And that is the end of Mystic Quest. A game that is near and dear to my heart, and a game that I still love to this day. It has its flaws, sure, but it's just so fun to play that I can't help but love it. It's just so much fun for me, and it has so many memories attached to it. Figuring out the Palm Trees and Eight puzzle, and Marcy and everything else, and there's Watts! Yep. You should flip that, and you send him down into that massive cave system. Are you wanting him to go get more silver? You could just go get silver yourself, you know. And Kenji Ito, your music was exemplary, and still is exemplary. Did you save the tree? You didn't tell me that the tree got destroyed last time! Oh, totally should have mentioned that to you, shouldn't I? Oops. I am not happy with you. Are you the new Gamma Knight? Yes, I am. Oh, the world is doomed. What was that? I mean, congratulations, Jime! It's Jim! This game is just so wonderful for me, and yes, it has its flaws, it's rather short, and the uh, translation does have its problems, but it's just so fun to play that I can't help but pick it up every now and again and play through it all over again. It's a game that I just love. It's just so much fun. And there is Lester. Hey, would you like me to change the background music for the credits? No, I, I think this is fine. Alright then, I'll just keep it as it is. And if you haven't played this game already, I encourage that you do so. Look, it's Chocobot! Chocobot has found another Chocobo! Go on, it's okay. I'm sure they'll be absolutely fine. I should probably go now. Square. Thank you for making this wonderful, wonderful game. Time to go guard the tree. Forever. The end. And even at the ending here, I'm a little bit emotional, because... This game is just, for me, one of my favourite games. I love playing this game. I've loved playing it again. Even though I miss things that I found the first time round, you don't need them, because the end of the game gives you everything you need, and I just love this game. A lot. Flaws and all. And if you haven't played Mystic Quest, I encourage that you do so. Or one of the newer remakes of it. It's a really fun game. And if you haven't played it, you're in for a treat. But what's next? What's next is what you voted for. Whatever was voted for will be the next Let's Replay. And so, I'm Kikoskia, and that was Let's Replay Mystic Quest, a game that I'm sure I'll be playing again in the future, even though I know pretty much everything that's going to happen, because that's what you do with your favourite games. You'll play them over and over again, just because you like them that much. So I'm Kikoskia, and that was Let's Replay Mystic Quest. And when we come back, another Let's Replay. It's time to give Jim the much-needed rest that he deserves. Except there will be no rest, because as the last Gemma Knight, responsible for protecting the last Tree of Mana, he's going to be working to uphold the peace for the rest of his life. And I'm sure he'll do absolutely fine. I have faith in you, Jim, even if nobody else in the whole world did. I have faith in you. So I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Even from the darkest of despair, hope can grow anew, if given a chance. Later. <laughs>